Hello and welcome to Triple P. It is your evening edition of Terrain Thursdays. Your source for everything miniatures on the paint table, play on the tabletop and PC, and plenty of parlay between me and my official business partner, Mr. Lee. What are we doing for Terrain Thursday? Well, we have uh, my honorable crisis protocol right here. Then we have more, uh, 440k kill team boxes. Yeah. That's right. We have both kinds of terrain. Right. We don't. We don't uh, segregate here. It's all. It's everyone's welcome. Don't be jealous that your 40k train can't be thrown by the Hulk. Right? That is, that is pretty, uh... Alright. Welcome, welcome. When you're challenged by something, and if that's right, challenged by something as mundane as a stoplight or a street light, what's, what's your artistic approach to something so mundane? Well, I look at it like a lot of natural life. How would I want to make it, recreate it? Yeah, I think uh, when I look at them, I look at, oh, any street signs and streetlights pass by on a daily basis and how many I've passed through my life and which ones stand out to me. It's always the ones that are a little bit of light. Um, they're not all like they're not all uniform. Same. Yeah, uniform. Same, same. So that's what I'm going to try to recreate right here. And they're all made the same way, but in areas. Uh, wherever they put them. Four of them, basically. So are you wanting them to stand out more or to blend in? I'm going to blend in. Yeah. The whole point of terrain, you want to make it look like it. You don't, you don't want to take away from the models. You or, don't. You don't want the train to also be a star, right? Because there's so much going on. Stars are guys yeah, it costs ten times about what train costs. I'm not saying downplaying train at all because there's a lot of people who are really good at it, like craft and those people like that. They're really good at it. Even Maniac Mini is really good at uh, I'm not a terrain person. Doesn't mean I'm against it. I don't think there's anything wrong with you. You know, this is what, my third Thursday doing it? I mean, I'm starting to enjoy it. There's a lot of things I have to relearn and learn that it's not like a cylinder object. It's, well, some of it is, but like these parts are like gun barrel. Put in that perspective. But, um, like that daily bugle. There's a lot I had to rethink when I took it home 
finish it up because a lot of things were done because I was actually starting to realize I was tearing the paint on went over so so you know rethink and strategize about what I was doing one thing I like about this hobby you're always learning Yeah, it's usually the best time with the uh, trying out a new scheme or technique on a model. Seeing what you think. Something that's mission critical. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Just sit there and realize the concept of what it is. This, this lamp model itself, simple as it is, and being a background piece it's still very very well sculpted it has has etching in the top of the corner post right here lamp shade goes up got see that a bunch of IB work and stuff on it. Yeah, all of the modeling, especially on the terrain in the Marvel uh, Crisis Protocol box set is really exquisite. Even the cards, you know, they've got just the right amount of detail on them, I think, and are quite simple enough to put together. I think they've got a great blend of that. And the Daily Bugle, just iconic. And I like the dedication so far, which what we've seen from Comic Mass Games. And being dedicated to both um, real world scenery and iconic scenery. Daily Bugle, Sanctum Sanctorum, uh, the van from Deadpool that I can't remember, the taco truck, right? Yeah, yeah, his uh, Tim and Bob, Bob, yeah. Timmy Chimmy Chong truck. Yeah, so uh, I really uh, like that the game uh, is really allows the terrain to also like uh, really bring that iconic look to the Marvel Universe and New York City and the space uh, and X-Men type things, you know, the, the various iconic areas of the you know, corners of the Marvel Universe come through in that way. And it's good that now that they're starting to get into the X-Men part and a lot more areas to allow for that terrain to keep going okay. and inform the with what's a really good sized battlefield too i think it's got just enough to show off as many models as are going to be on the board and the amount of terrain you're wanting to put on the board oh very much That's another thing that I find kind of awesome about terrain. You can't you know how the elitist people say, oh, that person doesn't look like that. That's wrong. I mean, you can't say, that's not what a street sign looks like. That's not what a street lamp looks like. Maybe they have different ones in their country. I think that's one thing that really needs to go the elitist People that sign up to stuff for you know, throw down paint the way they want to throw it. People that want to do you're in judging like competition, yeah, okay. At least but you know, I 
I'm part of Instagram and I Instagram a lot on my private account. I have a fair amount of followers. There's still people in there that will uh, badmouth not me, but other people about their paint job. They don't. That's a uh, or what they do, how they represent the art. There's a young lady on there, young lady that do cosplay. And do sisters cosplay. They get constantly harassed all the time. Basically, there's no place for that type of behavior and that imagery by the hobby. It's not your hobby. You can't own a hobby. Yeah, you hear that games workshop. Now they own the IP. They own the models. They own everything that's connected to their IP of that part of the hobby. But uh, I'm talking. These are not. This is not like Games Workshop talking. It's actual fellow hobbyists. They're basically antagonizing and bullying people. That's one example of something I dealt with when I was a kid. When I first did my first, you know, 10, 10 person army, I was so super proud about it. I go inside a game store in my area and so proud about it and go to the guy and pretty much looked at him and said, yeah, these are trash. I mean, there's two ways I could have gone about it is either just, oh, okay. They never do it again or just learn from that and that 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 person's not happy or whatever it is. That's the whole point of art. My journey out to this is I want to show everyone that you know, no matter how long you've been doing it, you continue to grow. Don't ever stop to do it. And the hobby is big enough for someone who paints to what we would consider oh that's that's what the back of the box looks like. or yes. hey you could even be the person who painted the one that goes on the back of the box and that's an awesome thing to be proud of too and you could be someone who paints something that just wouldn't traditionally be on the back of a box except for maybe an extremely weird game um but you could be uh someone that just loves how uh your models look on the shelf or on a battlefield a particular type of battlefield or a particular type uh, that really just thrills you artistically and that's the best for that thing as well you can really uh, be proud of that type of work too because that's its own different type of work just like back of the box work is a different type of work and they all are uh, great examples of the breadth of what can be done in the hobby right I, I can, uh, that's funny too, is that most of the people that comment give rude statements, these two ladies and other individuals as well, and it's always the same 20 or so people that do it, uh, they don't have very good looking models themselves, but the people that are being harassed or told that they can't do things like that in their hobby or there's no place for that in their hobby, uh, are the ones that are not saying anything because they have what's called respect. Someone, art, basically that's what it is. Art, representation of yourself and how you think your world. I don't care if Mr. Cosplay in skimpy clothing. That's what you want to do. I'm not going to shun you for it because that's your art. No one forces these individuals to. You know, this, you, this is how the new Warhammer, how the new sisters. You have to look at everywhere you look. Only well, you have fingers, you have a digit, you have a, your own mind, so you can either watch it or don't watch it. Roll on. Problem is, we have a lot of social uh, media warriors that think that because they have a keyboard, they have power to say this is how the internet should be. 
Oh, well, you know what? I'm not okay with that because you stomp down into the valley and you get that individuality or what makes it important or special. Then guess what? There's no more individuality and everyone thinks the same. And the next thing you know, you don't make any creation. That's, that's the one thing I want to talk about tonight. Art. Uh, do it. It look close to me. Look at that. That they have a keyboard and they have the like, like no one else has a keyboard out there. They they're the only ones in the world that has an opinion. You have a lot of keyboard warriors out there. You yeah. know, know the only the courage of typing, and you know that that can go for an individual as well. As you got to remember, you know, there is a creativity coming out of uh, many of these companies, big and small. You know, it's a group of individuals that come up with the rules and the sculpting and product direction for all of these you know if somebody had an idea to bring a marvel's game you know what isn't mickey mouse deciding you know it's a group of game designers you know, coming together and trying to come up with something creative and that connects to the license but it's own unique creative endeavor in and of itself too i'm so agree the thing like, I feel that as a person, I find myself to be a person. I might not agree, so I just think I just play a voice where, you know, it's not all I do with art, but everyone sees. Believe it or not, I used to, I wanted to have a t-shirt company, a t design t-shirt, different graphics on um, but if I like someone's design, something appeals to me. The one thing I've learned through my life is someone's design appeals to me, or design appeals to someone else. I find it distasteful. They find it distasteful. That's okay. You don't have to appease everyone. You, you remember, you as an artist are doing it to express yourself. If it's your body, if it's whatever it is, if it's like a um, swimsuit model, whatever it is, I don't care. A uh, cosplay or a makeup artist. Whatever your art is and how you express yourself, your expression, and no one should be able to tell you you can't do that shouldn't do that don't do that to our hobby don't i think people are losing sight of what true expression is, is in formality forming forming now you don't want to conform into everything into like the whole existence we didn't have thinkers we didn't you know, look at elden ring okay yeah they're coming a bunch of black from other gaming studios Gaming studios that should be respecting them for all the awards they've won right off the bat. How long has Elden Ring been out? A month? They, they're sitting at least 25 that I know of. And in fact, the complete opposite is happening. Is they're under fire from other gaming studios. Because uh, they said that it's unreal, original, everything else, and not user experience, right? That, that stuff. I don't know, Nick, how do you look at it? Want a giant red arrow that floats in the sky and buzzes and points to the next watchtower I need to climb to unlock the seven of 18 pieces of the map. Yeah, exactly. Ubisoft. 
mean, they make you can just fill in the blank for the name of that game. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with either Far Cry or uh, any type of uh, Ubisoft game. Thing is, is man, like I still enjoy those games, even though they're the same, the same, and you know, that's my personal thing. If I don't just. I've seen the hidden ending to every Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, you know. But that doesn't mean I want every game to be an Assassin's Creed game, you know. I want to play on the ring. I want to play, uh, you know, a match at Apex Legends. I want to play Mario game. I want to play Hades on my Switch. I want to play... The wrestle from your wife. Yeah, no kidding. I haven't basked in that OLED goodness for more than five minutes when I set the thing up. I just think people also don't understand how much passion. If, if you're a game designer, you're a game designer. That is passion. That is your art form. That is your expression. Even though people just feel like it's all just crunching up. You have to be passionate about it. Passionate about Bitcoin. I'd rather do if I had that knowledge than things. Not my passion. So that's the, someone's personal, like insulting their mom, I guess, would be the way I look at it. Someone went to him and said, My art sucks. I would uh, graciously, kindly say, I'm sorry that you feel that way. And, you know, go on. People uh, don't have thick skins or have the um, purity, I guess would be the word, deal with that properly. I think that makes sense. Everyone talks about teen suicide right now. My daughter was talking to me. That's the reason why I want to talk about it. She talked to me about it not too long ago, a couple days ago. And it's been kind of on my mind, so I kind of want to talk about it. So I'm posting some. Uh, we had teens that when we were kids, and I knew. Them. But isolation, COVID, non political, non political, talking about the whole outlet of kids. They don't have any freedom to do anything. What they used to enjoy they can't anymore put locked down or that wear a mask. Uh they've been at home so long they actually some kids don't even know how to interact with us. It causes uh problems for when they get older. We're actually causing our mental illness in our children by not uh Talking to them how to help them deal with their emotions healthily, like outlets. And just co workers. There's some co workers that, well, it, humans in, in general, we're not made to sit there and fall caught up in a little ball by ourselves. And, Stay alone. Even the most what introverts were when you like to be inside or isolated. Even those people still need heat contact once they It's just how we are. We're pack mentality or I don't know. Mentality. We buy people. When you've been in isolation, a lot of parents out there that keep their kids locked up, they're afraid of everything. Afraid that the big bad COVID would go see them. Got COVID. I can't, as an artist, I can't feel my right hand, my fingertips still. Uh, when did I get that, Nick? Uh, anyway, right? Yeah. So, still can't feel my fingertips. My palm. I go to the doctor. What did the doctor tell me? Oh, that sucks. 
Haven't heard of that one yet. I can send you a neurologist, but you know, if that's a waiting list, and you gotta get in there, and then get go to insurance to bring. Like, well, is his life at the death thing? Sorry, no, no, it's not necessary. Oh, then we we're not gonna cover this. So now that I figure, I just have to learn with a deal with uh, my fingertips. You know, eventually they'll come back. But you know, how life is. You need to be more open-minded and think. Well, as an open-minded, open-minded. First one to pass that stuff. Oh, you're a terrible, you're a trash person. Uh, you're a horrible artist, but you're not a nice person. There's some dudes I met that look like about this character's walk. Actually, the nicest dudes. How about you, Nick? Yeah, usually. I'll just. A lot of guys yeah, I know, like, baby. The hardest person to on this are probably the ones who give you their yeah. the back, give you whatever you need, okay. or even your life better. No matter if it hurts them or not. I think he's the wayside lately. Yeah, really ignore even little things. I think people used to let's see if you're writing from that long back there's just a different way. talk to each other the way they dealt with each other is basic courtesy and kindness we sometimes make a folly of as some sort of backwardsness but it's really just a different hierarchy of priorities that the way they conducted themselves with their name and reputation that were, were really important. Now we have social media view that now it's really destroyed the proper way of thinking. I think just so short term thinking thought. What's the ramifications? might not do people think about me well i think about myself in five years later how would that shape who and what i am and you know people aren't even giving other people a chance to show that there's judgment on them. i mean uh i really stumbled on on this TikTok, Instagram guys, that they are so rude to the elders. They're young, young men. Now we didn't call them men. They're young kids that have these long earrings and um. So you, are you, yeah, I totally sound like an old fogey too, a boomer. Call me, but I've always had respect for people if I don't like their point of view I never would tell someone to crash straight out to face it's not my place if you don't if I fight Nick if you made art that was too if I made it. yeah if you well you do make art but I'm like, if, if, if made, I get around to that one day of making some art you know you know what I mean. if <laughs> you personally <laughs> Nick were an artist I didn't know who you were and you had your stuff in a gallery I didn't like it. I was still calm. I would say that's really cool. It's not my cup of tea, but I really like it. That's all I hope someone would do for me. Right? You might say, you know, that that's a way to paint. You know, Carol Danvers. You know, it's it's a way. That you... Oops. I mean, that, I mean, that's one thing too. Like, look at that. Um, uh. 
like everyone doesn't understand like expressionism either. Or uh also thought out of the box. The stuff's so impressive they did. Granted most of them were going men drugs and alcohol and stuff, but besides that, they were still very good artists. This is Van Gogh's Stage 3 Syphilis yeah. on the Shores of Adela. Yeah, I mean, you know, they had weird practices back then, they, uh, but needless to say, they still had great art. Music art. I mean, I listened to Bach, and Van Gogh was a great painter. Leonardo Vinci. But, you know, there's all these rumors of not live back then. Still enjoy it. I just want to let those people, no matter what, dress your art as. I think you do it no matter what you're told. Different. Because that's truly how you feel, and that's the truth. going. All right, so while I've been going, it's a little, uh, yeah, our art. Yeah, yeah. No, right. Oh, this, this is, is not art. This is work. Um, I, I have can... based there. Oh, these are yellow. But everything else I have done actually in a undercoat of silver. I mean, it's called shining silver. So very watery. And I actually just thinned it down a little flowy, but that's it. And I've been actually painting across the whole model. Then I'll show you why. I want the the yellow to be flat. That's why that's painted. Up this. Because if you take the yellow or the silver, once it dries, you have to wait for If you take the silver and you put contrast paint or any shade paint over it, actually it makes it look metallic. So most look okay. paint. This looks is also nice when I said, you know, street sign not perfect being it's only broken creaking inside the hopefully it, it flattens out. About. Lights themselves, light bulbs themselves have silver inside the housings of the this here lost one. I'm painting this with silver as well inside. Got these two guys. Notice I put the a light in there already. I'm just framing it out and still. What's very nice about this really light silver. It is very, very transparent. It leaves behind metal. Help to. Basically, looking like crack light. Shavens. Huh? Shavens. Yes. Like a flip. Actually. Balspar. <laughs> Balspar. Lumen. I mean, like, look at your rulers this morning. Those are really good. Grass off. Uh, the orange and blue one remind my name dolphins. I feel like the dolphins are. I like that color. Yeah, that color combo is kind of the color combo. Slightly different, but pretty much, yeah. Wheel kind of color wheel. Those are good colors. Like, yeah, I like those, those are good color guys. Those aren't my guys, but they're good color. I actually like we should do 
pick up a box of blood. Yeah. Paint him up like this. Mm -hmm. Actually, the Blood Bowl game on the PC I've seen play it looks pretty hard, actually. It's a uh, turn based hexagonal move. Passed by something, but this is chance I called him so. I was watching mm -hmm. Markiplier play on Super Bowl or Super Bowl Sunday. God, it's crazy. But uh, someone had went in and modded the game, so they were the Browns or whoever's in the Super Bowl. Yeah, was that a good Super Bowl? I really didn't get to watch. Oh, for a bit. <laughs> I like that pause. Really, it's like, good. Like how long? Is it kissing us? <laughs> Again, investors. That's the other thing, man. I mean, you know that, man. Comedy. No one has some anything. Oh, they're just looking to take out the cancel king. Yeah, what is with the cancel? There's like a bunch of people who just don't like what people say and say, "Gotta get rid of this." Yep. The dogma. together to hate the people. I mean, I was looking at this guy, very good uh, YouTubers are so tired of it. They're always afraid of stuff. Like, you know what? We don't live in the U. China or that doesn't have rights. America, we live. I got. I love everyone. I guess maybe why I'm upset about it, why it bothers me, is right before I came up, I always check Instagram at for go. Yes. And it was like literally posts talking about how persons think about quitting career, making videos for cosplaying. Cosplaying is a lot of work. I don't understand. Actually, I like working in one of those third world sweatshops, but for free. Hey, get yeah, for yourself. Prize money. But this young lady is being attacked. So she showed more cleat than she should have. <laughs> Not this dude's and uh, you know, most people just okay, and it presses right. Drop it. This guy just kept going on and on and like I mean, I said bother you so dang much. Megan for a date. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Whatever. Uh, so, like I said, we're just making sure we have silver on the model as best we can. Without Ravy, it's probably the quickest tutorial how to do. But it's effective. Yeah. <laughs> That is very, uh, very easy to do, but um, very, very quick. Uh, just like me, I'm very quick. Uh, and I just put the paint at the bottom. And just make sure I get. You all... are someone who would be very good at painting a stick. <laughs> you know, 
Honestly, yeah, that's what like the people that do dryads and all those uh like your group. Oh my god, that see that? I don't want to do that. I, yeah. That right there does not interest me at all. It's a cool looking model, and what you do with it is cool. I have no interest in drawing a giant tree with eyeballs. I did his eyeballs. I know it looks great. I'm very happy. I mean, like your, uh, you know, I gotta say, Noel told me it was too dark, so I lightened him down with like, super like water rays. Oh, and that'll work. Yeah. Tone. I want to put that watered down uh, wild bark in there. Wild wood? It would have gone on all the cracks. It would have, would have seen how dark it wasn't. Oh, that's fine. No, oh, that's what she. And I said, well, some groups are green because he can green up. Wants to, but this is combat. Oh, <laughs> the log. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I am log. What is that from? Ren and Stimpy? Uh -oh. The log, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's the commercial after Powder Toast Man. Yeah. Log. Log, log. log. Yeah. It, it rolls down hills. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think the model's cool. I yeah. wouldn't want to paint it. Oh, I, I guess we should probably tell the folks out there we are officially uh, got our paper work back. What yesterday? We got it all signed. We actually got our business counter open. You guys start sending all that money this way, folks. Keep me yeah, in. We're gonna have that that PayPal, the Bitcoin, yeah. that parlor, that uh, over uh, fivers. Yeah, fiber's the one that you, you can figure out how to work that I mean, I'll work the website if you tell me just how to set it up. That's the one I'm having problems with. Patreon, local. For those that are on my Patreon. Something that's run by Jack Dorsett's dog. <laughs> For those that are on my Patreon, I'll be closing mine soon if I can focus on this at one. I mean, for those prior um, commitments, commitments I have made, I will resolve those as well. I think I only have one model left, and I actually have to repaint it three times. I keep breaking it. You know who you are watching. But uh, I'm just really excited about being able to. It is full time. Very nice. I'm not not a uh, word person that thinks that I don't have to work for it. I still gotta realize I gotta have an income at some. But focus, and we just found out our hometown. I'd be beneficial. Wait two hours in traffic. Makes a lot of money in gas. Is all that is right now. job to understand okay i don't understand the question what does it say i can read it but and schnagel show us a technique how to get an object light effect by hand brush slash brush when... oh you, you want to see uh, like a fire brush or look like oh osl okay yeah that's actually what I was going to do. Yes, I will. 
I think I know that girl. Go de go out one. That's good. I like it. Hit me up, suckers. Alright. So we got green. Got red. Yeller. I forgot all the colors kind of go. So yellow, middle, red, top. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I'm retarded. It might be the nice working. Yeah, right? All right. So this is called. This is called. I can't. Amber. But it's actually not because I added. Yeah, it has blood, uh, blood contrast in it. it has uh, red ink with flow aid. So it's my red shade. So we got this red. We're not worried about wiping off the brush. Dry brush, a dry. As if the light was shining. Have to keep blending it for you no know, paintbrush. I know, I know. I know. Really bad about that. I'm still used to working alone. That red still on there from previous, and like, kind of blended the yellow in. I know it's a really crappy OSL, but I wasn't planning on doing OSL. You want to do the OSL uh, OSL tutorial? Get how I did the red spell. All I'm doing right here is I had a little bit on my palette. That's why I like wet palette left over from that Gadden yellow contrast. It really works. Oh, by the way, do not put yellow or any contrast on top of that uh, 
um, Vallejo metal paint I use. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that actually peeled up, like crackled. <laughs> so yeah, I had actually pulled out all that off the that taxi yesterday. That's why I forgot to show you at my house. That's something to do with the alcohol base or out. However, Daisy Bugle. See, Daily Bugle's coming along really well. That actually should be done by today. God, it's hot as heck in here. Wetting my, wetting my, uh, my horse off over here. As you guys say in English. Look, you I didn't wear my guns and roses uh outfit today, like a headband there. <laughs> Yo, it is Nick Bernie making me wear a fat suit. Crank up the tent. Just sweat it off. Get hundred pounds. Good way. Try to make me a uh, oh. Try to make me the next hand. Oh. Uh -huh. Right. I can do it. I mean, I think I have. Yeah, well, this one. I know. Dora. Dora. Oh. Well, the oranges to me, but yeah, it works. Experiment time, kids. Hey, it's not so bad. Really thins out well. works. color win this round
funny. Someone asked me why I use them. I think it's like the vibrancy. Me. Or more. I guess my eyes are drawn. I think that's that. I think it works for me. Yeah, like I, I'll I'll be more <laughs> more uh, compelled to go towards some bright colors. The moth to the floor. I don't know how he died. He walked right into that compactor. Right? Like he didn't even see it. A bright light above it? Well, I guess there was. All right, so on this green, we're gonna flood it like this. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that looks like a. That's exactly how we want it. It'll thin out. It dries. Find it like that, like it's like a screen. Then we'll come back in and we'll hand draw some. Walk or do not walk sign in there. Or Hulk. Yeah, yeah. You're in a Hulk free zone, sir. I'm my bad. I am I did not see that there. How did that get? Okay. So these are both drying. Both have their Eight on first. Go ahead and set. All right. So this is just straight up Beltan green. It's actually Beltan green. Most light posts I see are green. Remember, we put all the silver on this thing. You probably can see that. Uh, you know, hopefully my bubble boy is watching this. Come on, boy. And see? Street sign. Street lamp. Like I said, it's going to be a little... Okay, more bang for your buck today, kids. I bet you about a dollar. I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what is that? What you, the way you sound in real I'm not just a client. I'm all, or not just a president. I'm also a Bosley men's. <laughs> sounded like that guy. <laughs> no, your voice sounded like a. Yeah, I just saw a documentary about Billy Mays, Hayes, or Ways, or whatever. Coked out with his dome. He used to go around Australia. Just, so I guess apparently Australia, brothels were like everywhere. And he would like book brothels for days. 
Yeah. Damn wow really came in to help. <laughs> like, ugh. At least he went out like a champ of uh, massive heart attack and just dope and pills. Like, jeez, buddy. But he's like, I think it was, they said, Kingsland? Victoria Providence? They were stomping around. Like, wow. Crazy, but looks so nice in the videos. Uh, best friend's the other one, right? Oh, and you know what I'm talking about? The blonde guy? Oh, that's right. Yeah, because the chip going his brain from this booth to the, the pod people. Abducted back in the day. Maybe. <laughs> the government doesn't want you to think about it, so you don't think about it. <laughs> the chip says no. Please. I just keep grabbing more of the bell pan. Slapping that bad boy on there. You know my next step. God bless, we should have used this a long time. Dark Angels Green. Good shaky shake. Contrast paint. I'm gonna throw this bad boy right in with that bell pan. Mix it up real nice like. <laughs> you guys can't see what just happened. We had a crazy dog just come up here and marauder through. That's a good one. Alright, so one thing we are going to do. Water. Yeah, you used to where the camera is again. Water and flow egg. Drop the beach. Mix this cool guy up. Okay. Really thin paint. There we go. Here we go. want to load your brush up not like super heavy load but enough don't dab it off run your side of your brush down like i said this is just a little bit of water a little bit of flow aid bell tan green we had on palette dark angels green contrast that's it. We don't care if it looks perfect because, again, rain. That's one thing I gotta tell myself. Quite that perfection. Uh, some do describe me as quite anal. Pretty, pretty anal. Or anything in my art area. Let me put it down. I know you... Bone blown up. Mr. Nick, you should show the folks that. Someone, your B day is coming up, isn't it? I have to. Do I have to? No, actually, you don't. Wife's like trying to get out of hers too. The one year I try to go all out. 
It usually happens after you turn. Voice turn. Oh, I'm sorry, that's hers. Where my wife's like, hey, folks. And she's good at it. I, I'm not trying to knock it. Sit in bed and knit. knit. Oh. Like, I don't even know what to say because it's not bad. It's not like she. Me? Hey, go. Well, it's kind of old. Person at this age. But you know what? World is in a scary place right now. Might need to make. You know, sweater for the nuclear winter. <laughs> they get cold or it gets hot. You know, I think I like trapped under plastics. In John is a uh, most flavorful book for me. It'll look like ass before it looks like it's good. I, I think that always sticks with me. Wish wish the man would reach out to me and talk to him because that he is more slowly guy from Texas. But yeah, one day maybe in or mid winter or they're, uh, they're actually one for for uh, role models, guys, guys. I wouldn't say. Didn't say, yeah. <laughs> I'm their waifu, Avery Sensei. <laughs> I can't be their wife. Come on, Nick. Oh, we haven't told the folks out there. Me and Nick are going to get married just so we uh, have a better time with uh, sharing a couple together. He said he gets dibs on being the, uh, the head of the household. I told him he has to tell him pretty every day. Tell me I'm pretty well. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Don't look at me like that. That just puts so off putting. The new Harry Potter game looks pretty beat, man. Uh, no, they they scrapped the MMO. Well, it's the same game engine, but uh, it's not MMO. MMO, you still can pick your own, like you know, Dark Souls, your own base, or whatever. Yeah, but it looks way better than that. It looks like they can they made it more stream. Yeah, you, you, uh, well, you can have up to four players. Friends can just go up for major puzzles and stuff. Check it out, man. It's actually something that's up your alley. My daughter's like wizard stuff. You like, okay. I mean, you like fantasy. Yeah. Hey, don't be a snob. <laughs> I am a snob. Don't be a snob. Anyways, I think you would like it. It's got dragon feet. That works. This guy. Ours. I cook all day. Go home. Don't say anything. That one there's way better. Yep. I remember um, one time I invited him. Only utensil that needs. <laughs> I, I, uh, I I invited him when we first started hanging out with three years ago. Uh, I invited him over for dinner one time. Hey man, I'll make dinner. I'll make dinner. 
<laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm just glad I did. Probably the best camera I've ever had in my life. Ladies, guys, if they're right, could book them. I've been threatened uh, with being removed from the domicile if I didn't provide an adequate amount of brisket. Your brisket is quite a... Uh, oh, from your wifey? <laughs> There's a brisket stipend. <laughs> she like, she's like, brisket. There's a lack of brisket. I need more brisket. I actually do not like brisket. Prefer, um, I guess it's because of my surgery. I just, yeah, we went to, um, the taco place that's just, uh, south of church. Okay. Uh, before Wednesday, because we were early, we stopped there at Brisket Taco. It's like the most gigantic brisket taco you'll ever, it's one of the best. I had that brisket taco up in Fed Ranch. It was kind of. I had a brisket taco and a potato, stuffed potato. Ooh, yeah. Up in uh, Fed Ranch. It was like $5 for giant potatoes, like half a car, and butter and sour cream. I, like I said, I can't do brisket very well, but that was probably the softest and best taste in brisket, except for at home, like people who had it at home. Mainstream, it's like look outside me. Probably the best one. Nola used to work off a uh, Jolly Well. Around that area would be uh, the Garbo Seafood uh, Lobster. They literally got their lobsters. In from oh, there. really? I think they got cut. Uh, with these stores, restaurants, kind of like. We'll buy all the like a plane full of lobsters kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get a couple, you get these, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And just the best. You can just tell. There's nothing like a lobster that's too out of the hook dry. You will see those better like that? Yeah. Let's show them perfectly. Those are done. Um, can wait till they dry before I handle them because it's still very tacky. Because when you mix, when you mix shade with contrast and flow aid and a little water in there, it'll take about an hour before. I... But that's all that was was silver, contrast, and shade. I actually learned that from uh, Games Workshop when they were. Uh, te uh duncan yeah he was painting Sorry. yeah <laughs> duncan, uh... covid cousins yeah. corona cousins i just run on my pet on my paintbrush um we can show some stuff we've we'll done now that we actually get I was gonna actually show them some of the stuff we've done. So they can see it. Thank you. 
So, oh, you got it over there. That's what you're looking for. All right, whoever designed Black Widow gave her a badonk. All right, got a ghetto booty. All right, so we've been doing stuff on stream, and uh, we've been doing a lot of work, but our camera situation wasn't so great, so people weren't able. And so we decided to use my phone, which stood down a long time ago. I don't know we didn't, we didn't. Didn't think about it the way it should have been thought about, whatever it is. But you can't dwell on things. Mr. Nick did. Okay. Amazing. I mean, amazing Black Widow. Very proud. I'd be very proud of that. Even if it's, you know, as far away. Well, it's ass on it but it looks close really good you very proud of that nick great man proud of that i have to say the sculpt works like really well to get around the belt um that that was uh, pretty easy sculpt was really good even though it looks really intimidating it's actually really easy to clean. They're not. Very happy. So now I got a team of engineers. That's enough. Full team. Here's the Here's our first. Bad, bad moon. I keep saying the wrong thing. Bad moon. That's a bad moon. He looks great in his yellow now. I love him. Cool hair. He's a uh, dirty Luda. <laughs> um, got a big butt yeah, on this guy too. But, <laughs> yeah, he looks great from behind because you get the bad, uh, bad moons a lot more that way. Because kind of the gut, the gun for the, the death cannon for the looters kind of cover everything up. But kind of that side shot of him looks really great. Or you get. This is a Grey Knight. Kill team. Grey Knight, kill team, with flamer. Team with the cool bases. Got a flamer. Get another of the heavy weapon guys on the table for some more kill team. Looking great. This is a... Oh, that was weird. That... Popped early. He looks really turquoise. He looks good, yeah, man. Yeah. On the the jade looks super turquoise on the screen. Yeah, Does it look like way too on your screen? Yeah. Looks, looks super good. turquoise. Yeah, it's kind of weird. The I think it's just a color palette. Yeah. I think it's my the stuff on my hands. Yeah, there's something up with the color shifting or. Um, I think the purple looks light. Dark on mine. Yeah. But yeah, this is what Mr. Good. Nick's been working on for the last. Days. Got a gang, gang at dealers. Actually, I bet you if I put my hand, color change. Did a great job. Nick's always been really good. Yeah. So good. And then, I want to show this his death guard. Hater. Part of his death, death, well, or kill team. By this guy's model very much. It Nick's just such a good very good. This is the one I painted for Nick as a thank you gift. I like the fly. Mm-hmm. He's got got the nice pictures for you new sculpt. Great looking. Just disgusting. Yeah, this is actually this tongue right here, or this organ thing. There's actually a bit left over on the, the frame. Okay. I cut it off and I put it in there. 
Yeah, I mean, this is a, a gift to Mr. Nick being here. Good. I might not have a Nurgle number of greens. I might. <laughs> I have eight. So you can have any. Might, you might have like 49 Marines or something crazy. So I so been... many Marines back, especially in eighth edition. As far as you could. So you can see on here, like the two different colors is my painting. Is... So this is strip Death Guard with. What did you wash them with? Agrax? Strong Strong count. Count. You look at the color of green difference. This is a uh, Militar. What they suggest for you to wash your guys in? What are they? Death Guard. Yeah, they don't have it anyway. Death Guard. Three on the paint table. I know. I... ask you some questions is ghost kill which is fantastic my I have best one of the best ones I think it has to be in this that's where the cameras are so yeah that's exactly because it starts to lag once you go okay, okay so this is mr. Nick's ghost kill once you Tell us how long it took. Yeah. Think about how long the field took. I would say with that, as bad as that orange is, probably four coats of orange to get it to go on there. What about the tinny tin? That's not easy to work with. Uh, the tinny tin, you just have to work slowly, I guess, a little bit with it because it it like flows low speed and but it'll coat really well just have to go you go fast with it black out so you won't get like right you just want to go slow with the tiny town metallic blue is actually pretty easy that's actually surprisingly i mean their overall their blues are good and their metallic blue is That does need two coats. You want it just slightly thin on it. Uh, I've slow had as more I am, about... I'd probably say okay. Uh, I, I usually paint for forty-five minutes. Star Trek. Okay. So. I would say he probably took a good 12 days, probably at least 10, 15 hours, and probably a good three hours to do all of the components on the base. So you've got, you know, two different kits of Death Guard from their fifth sphere expansion from the lore to Oracle hunting down Death Guard. Oh, what, sure. they hunt Death Guard down? Uh, yeah, the entire eighth edition story is getting Death Guard space. The uh, initial fleet com comes into the and does the big rift thing. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, they're adjacent uh, to one of the spheres of Tau, Tau, and the and there's a big chunk actually that they take over. Kept it, but there's a big chunk of space in those space maps they have and everything. Yeah, yeah. There's a big fifth sphere expansion of wow. Really? Oh yeah. Uh Railgun versus Plague vs. Crawler. Uh Railgun greater than. Really? Still? Uh the railgun is the most powerful. Well, the mega railgun on the storm surge, I think, is the most powerful, but the second is on a tank vehicle. Is 
As you can tell. Which is why I have two of them. And... <laughs> As you can tell, these guys are risk scale. Just taller than Yeah, there's just a slight, and like Warhammer scale is kind of weird, depending on if you're talking Primaris first. Well, uh, Primaris with the 10 foot. Yeah. yeah, they're about 10 foot, 9, 9 and, and a half, uh, 10 non, feet. The first gen, what, 8 foot? Yeah. 7 and a half. I mean, how tall, tall do you think, think these are, if you were to put a scale on them? Oh, here you go, where's a... Yeah. Sorry. You, you think they'd be about double... Let's see. This is a good comparison, actually. It's something to talk about. A lot of people don't know the scale. It's actually been a couple questions. All right, so here's a crossing guard. The Marvel is particularly scaled to O scale. Trains, right? Train. Oh. You see, they're about double her size, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense, foot. though, because he's like... Yeah, about 10 foot. Yeah, if you kind of think of the, the ghost kill as piloted, so you think there's a there's a tau dude. Uh, actually, I believe it's a lady. I'm, I'm okay. You can feel there with dolphin man. But yeah, I think the Tyranid's kind of big. No, I mean like, have you seen the pictures like of the lore and stuff? Yeah, the they're get they're a little big to them. Yeah, but. Like, you know, look at Death Close. Look at Deathwing, like um was it Space Hulk. Mm -hmm. They get their they get stuff pushed in by those guys. Yeah. I mean, this is good. They're not that far away from each other. Oh, here, right. It's a close scaling, yeah. Here's an or or it's tiny. Now this not a good example. And I don't think Eight foot, right? But you can see that it's right around. Or sort supposed to be he's squat, he's a, but it's about the right size. They're close. Here, here's a good example. Primaris. Yeah, everybody's. I actually like this model. I actually wish I had more of these. Yeah. Intercess. No, and cursor. This is probably the the, the longest paint job. Actually, black lined primer. Actually, lined. that's pretty. That's pretty good right there. Cause it's gotta be yeah. at least eight foot. Well, he's not full front. Got a big cursor paint. Like right. Here's a. That's a crossover. <laughs> Something about that. It does not like that. Definitely. This is my carnage. Great right, team of spider folk. Venom, carnage. Soon, Craven and the Lizard. Maybe you should actually did a and play. The Man Kingpin. I think it's good carnage. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, that scene on his face. I don't like this. And the best I could. Oh. He has an eye that. It's all the way around his head right here. I start stop like. Hey, I know it's supposed to be like morphic. Get that just the eye thing bother me. I'm very what's the word asymmetrical. <laughs> I like everything to look even. Even amount of teeth. I don't care how gnarly it looks. It has to at least be. These are all things I wish I had my so the story on my death guard. I had the scythe. What's he called? Guys, oh the death guard. 
Death Shroud. Yeah, so after I streamed the Death Shroud, actually, hit my. I grabbed the model and I smeared red paint up his back and across. So I didn't realize I got home. I could get stripped him and re. Because he is so. He's not. He's, <laughs> He looked like he. Yeah, had, uh, I don't sat, think Nurgle has a. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looked like he sat in camp. Can't the bag explode. Uh, so these are what things we've done. So I'm glad we can finally show them back. Because it's a lot of hard work that Nick and me do. Nick mainly and me, and I, I do this for fun. Nick, really tries the best he can. He does like the better job I've. Seen. On Marvel guys that he had an interest painting. Like him. Oh, next to that guy. Yeah, those are fun models. Doing a great job. I like that they're doing different versions of guys. So many possibilities. Costumes of as a guy, full in goals for them, you know, uh, except for a few of the guys that turn into other guys, like could possess bulk bust, actually yeah. reduces size. Uh, you know, it's just one person. Huh. Here's my street lamps, they're not dry yet, but this is what they would look like. They pretty much be the same. They're not dry yet. They're very tacky. So. But they look like street lamps. I'll probably go over them off camera with this Walmart coat. Just because it's very boring watching that. Um, we got 30 minutes. I want to see how much, if I could bang at least. That. Oh, let me go put this back. So. Mr. Nick's actually got a base ready for this guy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I think next, next Thursday, I want to practice. I've seen a really cool technique of stone work. I want to try to make these stone. So look for that next, next Thursday. Make these look stone with four, four colors. colors, two brushes. Huh? Four colors, huh? Yeah, yeah apparently that's all it takes. Take. These lamps, lamps over here will be drying. All pretty much done. Like I said, uh, one or two coat more of the mixture that I use. All of a sudden, green. Uh, also, um. Dark Angel and Belial or Bell Bell Tan Green with uh water and low age. I don't know exactly what the part mission. Alright, so if the Emperor's personal underwear and the Look at this. It's movement bar. Look how good that looks, man. Versus his. Uh, ready for a topic. 
your computer. Doing two streams. Oh. Oh, you too. Yeah. I think, I think, uh, you know, I'm really. All right, so it's the brown. That's the brown. Metal. It's liquid metal. A brassy color. Brass. Brassy brass. What color is that from? That's a Vallejo game color. Yeah, brassy brass. Penny ten and brass. So, the regular here. brass isn't it? It has to be super grass. Yo, know, I like watered down paint. I know it's hard to work with. Wait, it feels. Oh, it's very. So that's just silver and brown. I'm like. Old cameras. <laughs> So cool. Um, uh, again, this is paintbrush right here. Okay, it's silver brown. You know the good about the metallic brown color? Look better on camera. Reflect light. We'll dull it down with the the cardinals. Sorry, there. Oh, that, that five, five seconds second right there. What they look like. And I do the gold on it. I think what it takes to rain so much. When you got staring at a space ring. Box. What's this album? More fun to paint. <laughs> well, for you, Nick, yeah, it's a box. Nick likes to give me the box. What's in the box? Or you can do like I do and call me a savagery. I'll go super big brush on a world smaller. Well, you're covering up the details. It's a box. I don't care. I'll do that. Because guess what? This whole, all this area that everyone's worried about covering up, it's recessed. Mm -hmm. You put normal oil or any of your shade, there you go, you can see now. Put nail oil or something in there, racks or shade, or you know what, check this out, it's still wet, right? Got my brown silver. Uh, I know, Freak, uh, freaking out now. Don't you? I know. The warm and guys are going nuts. I'm gonna throw a model against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> rage quit. Now here's a real cool trick that don't. I have rage quit hobbying. Right. My favorite tool right here. Oh my god, log on. Because it's wet and still mm -hmm. workable. It's take. Microfiber cloth. Oh, over. I, I have a over me. Yeah, right. This is. I want to go out on this note today of saying, you know how to make your hobby work. You know how your hobby works for others. Be mean to people that you feel that don't do as good a job you can. Or could. 
constantly encourage those around. Be blessed that you get to have money to do this hobby because it's very expensive to do this hobby. But blessed that there are good people in the don't be a person that shames other people not doing or want them or how they should counter blessings and know that those people out there that can't even do it right now because it's going on world. I'm not gonna get political, but we all know what it is and lost of jobs, things it's, again. So we should come together as a encourage each other, not shun each other. And this includes just not just the hobby, as everyday life goes through, whatever we do. Try to be the best people. Yep. Yes, I think we want to really be part of keeping hobby positive for people, being a way to express themselves, be a way to relieve stress, be back with other people, be able to appreciate art and have art appreciated. Super cool synergy that between that positivity that creates. Oh, but things that little things are the paint brush here being rolled by dice important stuff and we thank you for joining us tonight we thank you for this great brain thursday that we can spend with you getting some marvel crisis protocol and 40k terrain ready for the tabletop thank you lee for bringing uh all of the tips and techniques of great looking terrain showing off some of the work done here at the studios and we will be back tomorrow with a game of Kill Team. Until then, this is the Game Master, Mr. Nick, saying goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye.